I'm Kate Ward and this is your Dickman Farms decorator tip. On come the holidays. Wonderful. On comes the white. Fantastic. But maybe we want a little add a little green and a little fragrance to our holidays that are upcoming. So here's some tips to let you know what we have here at the garden center for you and what might work wonderfully in or out of the house. So let's start on your right, my left. So over here, I have boxwood. Now, this is American boxwood, wonderful plant, wonderful works inside or out. Um, the thing to know about boxwood is, occasionally the fragrance is a little odd, but it forms a nice, wonderful, glossy uh, leaf texture. It works great for a long time. You can see we can use it in things like boxwood trees, so you can use it in as almost like a cut floral, which you would use in something like this. This is Oasis. Now, Oasis is a floral foam, and I'll refer to this multiple times, so I'm gonna tell you now, this floral foam, it absorbs water and then re-emits it. So, a lot of things like your centerpieces and that kind of thing are useful with being put into Oasis. It gives life when they're inside. So, that said, boxwood is wonderful for that. Indoors or out. Outdoors in super cold temperatures, you might get some cupping, it might get a little bit dried out. So one of the ways that you can rehydrate boxwood, actually, if you're using it as a bundle, is you can actually kerplunk the entire thing into water. So maybe you have a wreath that you've used outside and it's been out there a while, it's starting to look a little cupped. Well, what you can do is take it and dunk it, sit it there for half an hour, shake it out, let it dry out a little bit, and then put it back where it was. And that'll help rehydrate the whole thing. So that said, that's boxwood. The other thing we have here, these are magnolias. Now, this is Sweet Bay Magnolia. Wonderful green, wonderful accent, beautiful on its own, great for making wreaths as additions or, as I said, on its own. The thing to know about the magnolia is that once we drop below zero up here in the Northeast, this is not a wonderful plant to use outdoors. Um, it can turn black with those extremely cold temperatures, so just watch out for that on this otherwise fantastic thing to use. Moving down, then we get into some of our really wonderfully fragrant, classic fragrance of Christmas plants. And these are, two are, the firs. So right here I have noble fir. Noble fir tends to have a little bit of a bluish tint, a little bit wider, flatter needle there. And then next to it, in this particular case, I have Fraser fir. We do a lot here in the garden center with this Fraser fir. A lot of our Christmas trees are Fraser. There's also balsam, con color, but the firs are friendly. They're easy to work with. They're not picky, as in pickers. Um, so they're nice to work with that wonderful Christmas fragrance. Indoors or out, good for little cuts. Um, outdoors just holds it, hold their needles well. Firs in general hold their needles very well. Moving down the line, we have white pine. So white pine here um, and this cedar, they all add this bit of whimsy, bit of relaxation, a uh, bit of earthy naturalness. Not that these don't, but a little bit heavier texture here, a little bit lighter, airier texture here. Again, we do have a nice fragrance with these plants here, so a good addition. You can use it as a call, a small snip indoors as boughs on a mantel, holds relatively well. You can also soak this like you did the boxwood to rehydrate it a little bit. And finally, wonderful outdoors. Finally, we have cedars. There's two types of cedar here. There's regular cedar that I have here. Wonderful, again, as I had just mentioned, the sort of natural, loose, relaxed quality. Same here. The difference between these two, this is called incense cedar. So this wonderful, beautiful cedar has these little cones on it that just give us a little additional color and texture. Good cut, tends to hold its um, needles well, so you don't worry about them dropping all over the place. So that has been a quick tutorial on the different types of greens you'll hear, see here at Dickman Farms. We can't wait to see you. And until then, this has been your Dickman Farms decorator tip.